Some people say, what do we do? If you look at where Greenbird came from, we've got a long history of relationships with DSOs. The architecture of a typical DSO, they have generally the same systems everywhere. The MDM system, billing system, GIS, SCADA. And as a, as a company, we found we were working with the same um, systems time and time again. In the old days, and still today, the competition very much is, hey, we've got an SAP billing, let's do the integrations around that. But we don't want to do that. We want to give the DSO a real platform that they can plug in multiple systems, and more importantly, they can change those systems and grow those systems when they want to. So to solve the integration challenges of those systems, we decided to launch UtiliHive. So the baseline of, of our solution is the connectors. And this is really where our history and our deep um, industry knowledge comes from. So connectors pre-built for all of these uh, systems that a utility uses. So a new one comes along, no problem, we can plug into that. And if we don't have it today, we make a business decision if we want to add it to the catalogue of connectors. And if it's a DIY homemade system, we'll work out a way to do it through some API. On top of that is the data flows, and this is really what differentiates us from a, a horizontal iPaaS player or some of the big guys. So data flows are really about taking the data from um, A to Z. Now, multiple workflows or data flows are how the utility works. So we've got that nailed, and really once we get into that discussion with the utility, they can really see it come to life. And more importantly, these are customizable uh, data flows. Once we've got that in place, we actually have the data lake. Now the data lake is a place where the information and the data resides. That gives us a real opportunity to add value to the data and takes the discussion more into a value add place. But before I move there, I wanted to talk a little bit about data operations, because this is something that we really do and is unique and easy for us to do. Take, for example, real-time low voltage monitoring of the network. That we would put under data operations, so operational value adds that comes from the basic platform. And again, this adds a lot of value over over um, a traditional iPaaS solution, and we're really getting into operational value. I wanted to come back to data services, and this is a kind of fourth element of our solution. So data services is around bringing in new disruptive technologies, new stuff, cool stuff. E-mobility is an obvious one, it's a big hot topic at the moment. So the DSO is challenged with bringing in um, e-mobility and the requirements that that brings, the strain that it puts on the network. It could actually say, okay, I'm putting those in in a, in, in a housing region or in a, in a shopping center. Because we have um, the data flows and the data lake, we can use the information flow to the back end, to the front end, to allow us to, um, to help them to plan that. And then you're into like the data operations. Once you've got that data flow, we can say, what's the impact of this new e-mobility within the, the network? Um, we talked about e-mobility, it goes right across the piece, lifestyle, microgrids, and into smart cities. So as a company, we started life as a, uh, with the smart meters and the infrastructure there, but where we're going is into the new disruptive technologies and the value add, and really enabling the DSOs to have innovative new solutions added to what they do. Thank you.